Brain injuries and disorders can have many symptoms, even difficulty swallowing. And new tonight, there's a place in Palm Harbor helping patients learn to overcome that. ABC Action News reporter Ashley Orr shows us how virtual reality could save your loved one's life. Contract and squeeze those muscles as much as you can. Hooked up to electrodes, Tom Rodolasso isn't getting shocked, but what he's accomplishing is shocking. Not, you know, choking and coughing. Tom's wife says he suffered a stroke in 2013, and after nearly 60 years together, he lost the ability to move the right side of his body, talk, or swallow until he started therapy here at Manor Care, now using virtual reality. The stronger they swallow, the higher the kangaroo jumps. How that translates into functional swallowing or why that's important, the stronger those muscles are contracting, the more they're protecting their airway. The speech pathologist here says this technology has drastically improved the way brain injury patients relearn how to swallow so they don't choke or get sick. When you can see something, you do better with it. I just swallowed and you couldn't even tell, but when these electrodes are attached, patients can actually see their swallows right here on the screen. It's the motivation Tom needed. Very good. You collected all three. To make his biggest stride yet. That was actually the first time you collected all three. It's way less worrying because he's learned to swallow deeply. And now Tom's family says he's finally ready to take on Turkey Day. In Palm Harbor, I'm Ashley Yor, ABC Action News.